Okay, everybody, how are you guys doing? Look at Jason, he's hot. He's hot, but his heart is useless because he's a man, not a pretty girl. So nobody give him a ass, <laughs> right? So, okay. So thank you for using AA products. Today, we are going to show you guys like how to fix a problem if the wall pin leaking, you know, you know, if you like wall a- break. Yeah, I mean, the wall pin breaks, right? When wall pin breaks, then you can hear like the the, the the compressed air leaking inside the barrel. Okay, so okay, I see. and how to replace it. And before we posted the video for nightmare already. So now we are going to post the video on this backpacker. But it doesn't matter backpacker, uh, varmint, or I mean the the semi auto and, and the sparrow and everything SS. SP series. Yeah, they are the same. Yeah. It doesn't matter SS sparrow. Okay, yeah. varmint. Semi auto, it doesn't matter, it's 25, 20, 22, they are the same. Okay, so we are going to do show you guys how to replace the okay. wall pin right now. Okay, take no, a look. It's different, like now, because it's small and small. Small, right. small receiver, it's yeah. a small receiver. So, different from 9mm, remember the, the previous we, do the, we did the 9mm, and then we didn't take the barrel, right? We didn't take the barrel down, but for this, we need to take both the the tube and the barrel down, okay, yep. to replace it. So, let's back to the zero one. Before we do anything, we need to check it. There's no air inside, right? There's no compressed air inside, okay? Yeah. Everyone, you should release it. Release it, release the compressed air to make sure it's safe, okay? Yeah, it's safe. Okay, but you don't need to take it down, okay? Just okay. release the air. And then, second. It's like we change the vomit tank to semi-auto or semi-auto to vomit. You have to unscrew those screws. Right? Okay, those are three, remember. This is a little bit complicated than 9mm, because 9mm you don't need to remove the barrel, but this one you do need to remove the barrel, because it's the different structure inside, okay? Just like Jason said, because the receiver is smaller. Right, not big. Then you need to use the, the pin, punch pin. Punch pin to punch those pin out. Okay, from this side. Okay, from this side to another side. Don't do different way, okay? From this, this side, side to another this side, side, okay? No AEA sign, nothing, okay? From this side to the latter side, okay? To the picture side. And then all you should do is just pull it. Okay, be careful. Pull the barrel first. Halfway then release the spring and pull the barrel out. And then remove the tube. Okay. So you don't need to remove this, do they? Oh, you better remove it. Oh, yeah, you gotta <laughs> remove it. I'm sorry. Yeah, you gotta remove it. Okay. Oh, no. Damn it. You gotta remove it. I'm sorry. Yeah. Give me a minute. Okay, from another side to this side, remember. Okay, guys. Okay. Re yeah. Remove the pin. You can see the pin. See the difference of the pin, right? We showed you guys in the different movies, videos before, right? Take a look this side. This is on the picture side, okay? Yeah. Okay, remove this. And? And now, here. Four screws. You need to move. Or, or you need to just add a wrench and a punch pin. Then that's it. Yeah. But for this, it's a little bit complicated because the receiver is smaller. So you need to like, uh, you know, remove more things. For 9mm, all you need to do is just remove the, the, the tube, then that's it. Then you solve the problems, it's all set. But here, you need to remove more things. Why we need to do more things? Because, because here, see? So it's got a stopped, right? Yeah. That's why you need to move this part, okay?
Well, usually you guys will not run into the problem like this, but in case, so you don't have to send me, send me, send me the gun back. All I need to do is just send you the ping, then you just replace it, then that's it. And use a screwdriver. Yeah. Open it. Yeah. Unscrew it. And uh, remember, the like okay? now. Remember. Yeah, remember. Now, now. You, you need to cock it, okay? And cock it, put the safety, safety on. Safety on. Cock it first. And then safety on. And then unscrew it. Where are the glasses? Because Okay, guys, because there's a spring inside, okay? You need to protect your eyes, but you know, everybody in the United States knows, always wear the glass. Okay. Pay okay. attention, it's the Safe. same thing. Trying to take that down. Let me just show show them. The one thing you need to do do more check on here. Did you see? Did you guys see the see the O ring here? Sometimes this O ring might you know might have the tiny tiny problems on site. Oh, it's broken. It's not sealed enough. <sighs> the small leaking from here. You need to take this down, clean it, and put it back. Okay, this O ring here. Okay, set. Yeah. When you take down the o-ring, uh, this wall pane, you need to check it on the yeah. surface thoroughly, carefully to see if there are dang or broken signs on that, and and also uh, need to, uh, you also need to check inside, see if there's maybe... dust, anything happens inside. All you need to do maybe just blow the the dust inside, clean it, okay? Use fresh air, okay? Clean it, and then when you put it back. Remember the guys? Hold on one second. Show them, show them. This okay. side. That side done. Okay. Yeah. Put it in. That's inside. And remember. Remember, remember cock it. Cock it. And the safety on. Okay. The important is this. Check it all in there. We. <laughs> Sometimes there'll be tiny, tiny leakings. It's not only happened on the edge, on the, you know, backpack, it also, also happens on the sparrow recently because it's dirty or it's broken or it's like damaged and scratched on its O-ring. So all you need to do, you need to clean it. I know. <laughs> Here's the Gonzola and the cling. You need to cling it, remember? And then put yeah. it back. Okay, guys, remember. Yeah, see? We've, we figure out like 90% of the time is leaking is caused by this small, small o ring because it's not clean. During the transportation, you know, a lot of things happen because before they ship to the United States, they have to release the old air. So this print is like get larger, enlarger, and, and smaller, larger, smaller, again and again and again. So cause some, you know, damage or some okay. dust. Okay, so. When you put, put it in, put it on, then be careful, don't scratch it. Do it gently, okay? Do it gently. Uh, these two, so you guys can figure it out everywhere they have this. Then dentists they use this, okay? And also the AR systems come with that. Okay, so. So? Yeah, make sure it's inside and screw it. In the meantime, you need to make sure that the trigger is cocked, okay? Okay, and here you need to stop and turn around yeah. like this. Make yeah. it. Yeah, when you screw it on, turn up and side down. Okay, guys, remember. Okay. In this way, you can make it. You can make it smoothly. Why not scratch it? The screws. Okay. 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 Then that's it. And. Uh,
that's a uh, that's for everything and the rest I already show you guys how to do it right so yeah I think that's it Jason yep. let's say it's already 10, 10 minutes already okay so you guys okay. know the rest of the procedure right okay thank you for watching thank you for using AEA products okay we love you guys shoot me any comments questions on my youtube channel or send an email to pcpcomusa.gmail.com okay well i'm welcome to reply you right away thank you have more questions let us know so this guy is uh see you see ya thank bye. you for watching thank you for watching bye bye